It's Jesse. So I want to make a follow up to my yesterday with that Muslim woman. I've got a couple people trying to, you know, run their freaking trap, but it doesn't matter what they say to me. I could care less. But I do want to say, because after I watched my video, that it, it's not me attacking LGBTQ people. I don't have a problem with gay and lesbian people. I, I, I don't. You can do what you want. I don't give a shit. You're the ones that allowed these dumb fucks into your group. You're the one that didn't put stipulations. You don't do any kind of accountability for your movement. And that's why you're in this position. So, I don't really care what you think of me, and I don't care what you say. This is on you. You guys can't just allow anybody under the sun into your group and let them do whatever they want. Your group isn't even about gay and lesbians anymore. At all. I don't even remember the last time I heard any discussion about gay and lesbians. Even pride. What is that, basically? Trans. Everything is trans this, trans the kids, trans everything, drag queens. You need to kick these fucking people out of this group if you want it to continue to be anything meaningful for anybody else. You know, I don't ever recall you guys specifically attacking straight people for having different opinions and different views because it's the same thing as you guys. Lesbians don't want to sleep with a trans woman because it's a man. That's the whole purpose of it, of being gay, is if you're a lesbian, you like vagina. If you're gay, you like penis. And then you let these fucking men in here running their fucking mouth and making a big deal out of it. Look at, the, look at these fucking perverts. Like I said before, Jessica Yanee, for one, not a woman. She might say she's a trans woman. Bullshit. She's repulsive as fuck. Ain't nobody gonna sleep with that. She purposely, he purposely, went to a place to have his balls waxed. To be a pervert. That's the only reason. First of all, you're a man and you know you're a man. You're going in there because you want a woman to specifically shave your balls for you because you're not a trans anything. You're just a pervert. And she refused to do it and you got that building closed down. Yeah, well, fuck you, you sick son of a bitch. Eli Ehrlich. Again, man. Notice one of the, some of the traits of these people. What, what did Eli Ehrlich um, allegedly, I, mean, I don't want to say that because I hate saying that because it's not the truth, but rape. What is that? That's a man thing. Same with that Eisler or whatever person. Rape. That one guy, even though his name is Barbara something, what did he do? Hmm. Sexual assault on females. And then gouging out the eyes of one of the people in the jail. How many women do that? None. Everything that these people are doing is an embarrassment to the LGBTQ people. They're not fucking women. So stop saying it. Stop allowing them to just straight up shit all over your, your movement. The sports thing is an embarrassment. I can't believe you're backing that shit. It just happened again with one of these runners. It just uh, it blows my mind that that's where we are. Anyway, so I saw if if anything is said to Jeffrey Marsh, basically you're transphobic. Yeah, bullshit. If that's what you need to call me for calling Jeffrey Marsh out on his shit, it's a, it's just a word. I don't know why. I'm not the one of the little pussies that's scared of little words like you guys are. You know, you don't want to be misgendered or this and that. Yeah, who cares? Who really gives a fuck what you think? If people are trying to protect children here. If you guys don't want to protect children, don't. Don't fucking put your bullshit on me. You can call me whatever name you want. You can call me gay, fucking racist, skinhead, Nazi. I don't give a damn. I actually stand behind things that I say or a movement that I'm backing. I don't just allow people to do whatever they want and say whatever they want because that's not how the world fucking works. You can't just allow people to do whatever they want when you're supposed to have some kind of meaning behind the entire LGBTQ thing, which originally was to get married, and you wanted people to let, let you get married. But now it's all about trans. 
and kids. And I know you're not as dumb as I think you are, but you have a serious issue with perverts and kids right now, ever since you allowed these men into your group. And you're going to have to shut that down, or you're going to lose this entire movement. I see all these videos of people taking up for Jeffrey Marsh, but again, look at them. Short-haired, dykey-looking fucking lesbians. Guarantee you they're feminists. Because no man wants them. Not because they actually believe Jeffrey is innocent. They're just, they're virtue signaling lesbians. And it's sad. It's sad that people can sit there and say, yeah, he uh, doesn't do that to kids. Yeah, you don't fucking know that, you dumb fuck. If you think, after watching his videos, that that man is innocent, you're not. I, I can't believe how you're protecting these people. Like Chris Chan, you're okay with that man having sex with his mother? who has dementia, that he's fucking twisting her head and thinking things, he is fucking sick. He's on there literally saying that it, she loves having sex with him. Like, oh my God. Also, that's, that's okay. Now that I just thought about that, that's okay. You know, the son can have sex with his mother who doesn't even know what the fuck's going on, but a straight man can't say that they don't want to sleep with a trans fucking woman. Yeah, now that makes a total bunch of fucking sense. And speaking of you guys, the gay, lesbians, or gay, whatever, and bi's, I don't ever recall you guys saying anything to, to a man not wanting to date a trans woman. Ever. Because it's the same thing with you guys. The only time it became a problem is when these motherfuckers got in there. And I don't think you would have made a big deal out of it now. It's just that, you know, a man infiltrated your group, played your asses, and now you're stuck. And you, you probably just don't want to admit it. They use these little words like transphobe and all this pussy shit, like anybody fucking cares, basically just to attack them and make everybody get mad at them. It's a fucking word. Who cares? If you, if you consider a transphobe a man that doesn't want to sleep with another man, so be it. It's just a fucking word. It's not affecting me. And you can call me whatever you want. I'm allowed to have whatever opinion I want. It's my dick. And if I don't want to put it in another man, I'm not going to. If your little mob of fucking bearded weirdos don't like that, well, fuck you. I don't care. You've also got internal fighting now. They've actually caused you guys to allow yourselves to fight with other women in the group with your little stupid turf name and all this bullshit. You know, you didn't have any of this internal war and all this fighting between each other before until this, this group started it. And you don't even say anything about it. You basically just, just let them do what they want. And they're tearing it all down big time. Now, the, the focus on children that you guys don't like to talk about. Maps. Pedophile. Yeah. I don't care if they're born that way. I don't give a shit. Changing the name doesn't change the situation. They still have a problem, and changing the name is not addressing that problem. There is still the issue there, and the underlying issue is attraction to children, which is a crime. I don't care how many times you change the fucking name. There, that issue will remain. Making the the crime seem less severe is not going to help the situation. It's going to endanger children's lives. So, and, and who's pushing for that? Once again, trans. Same thing with drag queens. Why do they need to be in elementary school? They don't. They're fucking disgusting. You don't like me saying that? I don't care. They purposely, if you'd watched one of these videos I just passed about that Tennessee bill, yeah. It'll explain to you a lot of shit that's been going on at these drag shows. 
it is grown men who say drag is an art, but then they say that this bill is going to affect queer people. Well, I thought drag was about an art, not a man that's trans and not a man that's gay. Well, they just told on themselves. And one place even canceled every single one of the drag shows. Once one of the, tra or the drag show performers was fondling this girl's hair because they're perverts. You cannot allow all this shit to go on with children. I don't know why you allowed it anyway. You're, you were about, the whole thing was about getting married, like two men and two women to get married. That has nothing to do with your movement now. It's child predators right out in the open while you guys sit back and allow it. So here's something that probably most people won't even, won't even realize here. So you know how you, you bring up gender affirming care 24 hours a day, act like kids fucking need it, which they fucking don't. You said kids can, can make up their mind, they know what they are, on and on and on. Four years old, perfectly fine. Give them cross sex hormones and horm or estrogen and all that shit. But right here in Maryland, they passed a bill so that, well, they're trying to pass a bill so that anyone under 25 years of age that commits a murder while committing a felony, they will not be charged with felony murder. So if they're robbing a gas station and somebody gets killed during it, like gets shot, and you're under 25, you won't get charged with that. So proponents of the bill say that the human brain is not fully formed in the frontal lobes until the age of 25. It requires you to be, it requires you to really be able to foresee the future, to be able to go into an environment and say, well, I believe, or I think, I can think, or I can reason that a murder might occur. And so that we're looking at the fact that the neuro, neuro, neurologically children don't necessarily have the ability to do that. So they're willing to allow kids to kill people, which, I don't believe. I think that's bullshit and they shouldn't even be going that route because their minds are not fully developed yet. But you think they're developed enough to start cutting on their bodies and giving them cross-sex hormones and shit. Yeah, bullshit. They're not, and you know they're not. It's disgusting that you parents, everybody is, is allowing this right now. Letting kids cut their boobs off and all this and tucking and, but there, there's no detransitioner support now like there's over 38,000 detransitioners transitioners that are telling you people they've been through this they, they said that it doesn't change the situation it doesn't change how you feel you might look better on the outside but it doesn't change the underlying issue because it's an actual mental health issue it's something that needs to be addressed just like everything else like schizophrenia stuff like that it's not your mind telling you that you're another sex it's an issue. It's something that needs to be discovered and figured out exactly what's causing it, what triggers it. But you're wanting and, and sitting out here crying and screaming like little bitches because someone won't let you cut their kids up. Yeah. You're dumb. That's it. You're dumb. They're telling you right there you can't even be charged with a murder because your brain isn't fully formed enough to comprehend what you've done, which I don't buy that, but I'm just saying. And then you got these disgusting parents not calling their kids by the gender that they are, playing into that dumb gender bullshit. If I was actually a religious person, this would be the time that this country is showing all the signs that there's going to be something happening religiously. You know, LGBTQ people took pride to begin with, which is a, is a, is a fucking sin. Now we are passing diseases left and right between all the sexes between all these weird freaking things HIV is sky high in all these groups but then they sit and act like the I saw an article literally that said that the HIV rate shouldn't be that high among them what the what the fuck are we what does that have to do with us is that a is that a white supremacy thing too are we forcing the HIV on you to forcing you to have sex with these people no 
has nothing to do with anybody but yourselves. But the entire point of that video was you guys attacked that woman. You attacked her for doing what people do. Well, normal people. As you notice a predator who sits right there and lies to people's faces and says he's, a, he's only, his audience is for adults. Bullshit. I don't know how much, there ain't a human alive that's watched one Jeffrey Marsh video that thinks that he's after adults. And you guys attacked a woman. Openly. A Muslim woman. That one stupid girl compared 9-11 to that, you know. But again, the, all you gotta do is look at these people. You're so un uneducated and fucking dumb that nobody should even care what you say, but you've stooped to the level of attacking people and destroying their property. And that's, that's too far. It has nothing to do with, does, does that have anything to do with gay and lesbian rights? No, not a fucking thing. She was trying to protect children. You guys didn't want her to protect children. That's as clear as that went. So, she became the target. So why is this sudden push to not protect children? Why are there so many things going on right now to make sure that these grown men are in the, the vicinity of children? And you're protecting them. And if you don't want to be a part of that, when all this blows up, you better fucking get them out of your group. Because there's, there is a major, major, major situation going on right now. Uh, I can fucking tell. I, I'm not dumb. I'm, I'm, I'm just not. I can see it. There's, every single one of these situations that's going on is pushing children further and further into these people's hands. And it's disgusting. And these fucking parents are feeding right into it. And I don't really give a damn. What you, what, what, you can say whatever you want to say to me. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. You ain't going to threaten me. You ain't going to do shit. If somebody wants to protect children, they're going to do it. And I don't, it doesn't matter what your little group does. All you're doing is hurting yourselves. When you start attacking people that are doing something that's, that's right and has been right all throughout the fucking human history, you're trying to cover for something and you're making yourselves look bad. And you're protecting people that are criminals. Jeffrey Marsh might be innocent. I don't care. He doesn't give that vibe. When somebody gives it the vibe of being a predator, someone has to do something. You know, you don't want it to escalate to the point to where the child is, gets hurt. And so be it. You know, women can accuse men of rape all the time that don't have any, never even fucking considered raping them. And they have to deal with it. So, same thing as him. He put himself in his place, so he has to deal with the consequences of it. And just because you're attacking people over it, it's not changing the fact that someone needs to look into him. All you're doing is showing that you got something to hide and you're protecting somebody for a reason. Possibly because you don't want the eyes to be looking at you. I think we have a major, 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 major pedophile ring going on right here. And I'm not saying that's the LGBTQ group. But I think the LG and the Bs need to start internally paying attention to what's going on because there's there's something going on here this is this is all about kids 24 hours a day mutilating them getting them alone with people dancing in front of them with no clothes on yeah and it, just like everything else it's a man yeah you can say trans woman all you want it's men just like men got right into the feminist movement and destroyed that. I don't know how you guys don't think that's the most embarrassing fucking point in human history that you guys go to have woman debates over women's rights and you got trash like Eli Ehrlich talking, who is a drug dealing, fucking nasty ass pervert, rapist, piece of shit. Never been a woman in his fucking life, but he's up there talking. The first person who speaks to during the female panelist is, is, is a man. It's just embarrassing. If you guys don't do something soon, all this, you, you want to keep your pride month, you, you better fucking do something. I guarantee you, once this all starts blowing up and people start getting their kids raped and killed, your pride month is going to be done. And
and I don't know why you would allow that. You know, you guys, back then before the T's got involved, you made a lot of effort to change things and get people into your movement and get people to respect you, and they did, and now look where you are. And there's no other way to look at it. The moment the trans came into it, everything was no longer about you. And now you're associated with attacking vandalism, threatening someone's kids who is protecting kids. So yeah, you're in a place right now that you better fucking figure out soon. I mean, you can come at me, you can threaten me, I don't give two fucking shits what you say to me. Your little bearded mobs of women don't scare me either. I'm, they're fucking pathetic people is what they are. And these people that actually have gender dysphoria are losing their, you know, battles here too with these bearded weirdos that just stick on a dress and act like, you know, fucking their women when they look like ugly, stupid ass, retarded, dumb fucks. None of them look good. And as you're seeing here, how many of them have to prove to you that you're, they're perverts? I mean, Jessica Yaniv was literally jacking off on a camera in front of children while he was wanting to know if he should take some tampons to the, to the, to the school to see if the girls need help putting them in. Yeah, because he's a fucking pervert and somebody should have fucking took him out. You, you all make no sense. And you think it's okay for a grown man to, to be a man his entire life in the moment that he gets arrested? And as soon as they're getting ready to give him a prison sentence, he can just say he's a woman? Yeah, you think that's brave? No. That's a man manipulating a situation. And you're too goddamn dumb to notice it. But I don't think you don't notice it. I just don't think you care. That's the problem. That's, that's going to be your failure with the LGBTQ movement. You guys cannot just ignore everything. You have to have rules. You have to have standards. You have to put people in their place. When somebody does something wrong, you have to kick them the fuck out. If you don't, this is, what ha this is where you are. Now, and it's not just me. People are starting to see this, this stuff's getting a little nuts. The drag queen shit, way out of hand. You know, they gave you a little bit of leeway and look, look what you did with it. But it doesn't, drag queen bullshit doesn't need to be in school at all. If these pervert men, they want to get naked and rub themselves in their fishnets. Yeah, do it at a bar, like most adults, if you don't want to get charged with a crime. These trans people, specifically going into buildings and yelling like that guy at Popeyes, don't misgender me. Grow the fuck up. They're not misgendering shit. That's what you are. You're a man. Maybe if you put a little effort into what you look like, maybe they wouldn't call you a fucking man. You ain't no transgender shit. You're a man. You were born that way. That's what you are. Get over it. This trans movement, I think, is just... Now we know. It's, 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 it's a man's way of revenge basically because they are destroying you women and you're just oblivious to it feminist oblivious to everything so you, you've got to seriously rethink what's going on with your movement or you're not going to make it anywhere anymore and if that requires you threatening me well bring it it won't end like her with me I can guarantee you that There'll be no apologies coming from me, ever. I have nothing to apologize for. I'm very direct and always have been. I even fucking said in one of the videos towards black people, yeah, I've said racist things before. I don't give a fuck. At the time, it was warranted. I'm not a racist person. It's just when you get jumped at fucking 2 o'clock in the morning, walking 30 minutes to work, yeah, you're going to say racist things, just as they do. It's not, it doesn't make you racist just because you say things once in a while. But I'm also not a pussy, and I'm not going to sit here and say that I didn't say it. I don't like people that sneak around and, and act like they're something else. It's, it's fucking pointless. If you've said things, you'll, you will never go on to, to YouTube or Facebook or Twitter, ever find anything that I haven't said that I, out loud. I don't like people to freaking lie. I, I, it's stupid. I've been through so many relationships with women that can't fucking stop fucking lying. And it, it, that's just one of my big things. I hate people that fucking lie. And I can't stand this shit because it's, 
I don't think it's necessarily completely the gays, lesbians, and bi people. But I do think it's their fault to the fact that they're not paying attention. There's very few people talking right now. Blair White, she speaks up. Uh, I can't remember that, but there's a, there's a guy, a trans man, that is really good at that. But they get attacked by their own people as soon as they say, say something, and it's just, it's so stupid. But anyway, I'm going to shut up because i got to go mow. But that's it. And you think you want to continue saying some shit? Well, bring it on because I don't really give a fuck. I had one lady tried to, well, I assume it was a lady, tried to send me a direct message saying that, you know, you're going to get, you're, you can't say shit like, and she called me baldy or something like that. Yeah, whatever, bitch. You can kiss my dick. I don't really care what you say. I'm just going to start ignoring them because if I start replying to all of them, they're going to think they're getting to me, and they're not. You can come outside my house and we'll deal with it then. As a flamethrower blasts out that front window right in your face, which I would love to do. But that's it. That's it.